The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch by Rhonda Armitage. Once there was a lighthouse keeper called Mr. Grinley. At night time he lived in a small white cottage perched, perched high on the cliffs. In the daytime he rode out to his lighthouse on the rocks to clean and polish the light. Mr. Grinling was a most industrious lighthouse keeper. Come rain! Or shine he tended his light. Or shine he tended his light. Sometimes at night, as Mr. Grinling lay sleeping in his warm bed, the ships were too to tell him that his light was shining brightly and clearly out to the sea. Each morning while Mr. Grinling polished the light, Mrs. Grinling worked in the kitchen of the little white cottage on the cliffs, concocting a delicious lunch for him. Once she had prepared the lunch, she packed it into a special basket and clipped it onto a wire that ran from the little white cottage to, to the lighthouse on the rocks. But one, but one Monday, something terrible happened. Mrs. Grinling had prepared a particularly appetising lunch. She had made a lighthouse sandwich, a, mix, a mixed salad, seafood salad, sausages and crisps, cold chicken and garlic. Stop. Pizza prize, icy biscuits, drink, uh, drinks and assorted fruit. She put the lunch in the basket as usual and sent it down the wire. But the lunch did not arrive. It was spotted by three scavenging seagulls who set upon it with great gusto. You silly seagulls! Off you varmints! Shouted Mr. Grinley, but the seagulls took not the slightest notice. But that evening, Mr. and Mrs. Grinley decide on a plan to baffle the seagulls. Tomorrow I shall tie the napkin to the basket, said Mrs. Grinling. A sound plan. On Tuesday evening, Mr. and Mrs. Grinling raked their brains for another plan. They are a brains, brazen lot by the seagulls, said Mr. Grinling. Raisin indeed, said Mr. Grinling. What shall we do? Our cat does not appear to like seagulls, said Mr. Grinling. No, my dear, said Mr. Grinling. Hamus is an accomplished seagull chaser. Of course exclaimed Mr. Grinling. Tomorrow Hamish can guard the lunch. A most ingenious plan, agreed Mr. Grinling. Hamish did not think that his plan was ingenious at all. He spat and hissed as Mrs. Grinling skewered him in the basket. There, 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 Hamish, said Miss, Mrs. Grinling. Absolutely, I'll have a tasty piece of hearing waiting for you when you arrive home. Sadly, I did not agree with Hamish. His fourth first stood on the end when the basket stay, swayed his whiskers. Drink when he purred down at the wet blue sea and he felt much too sick to, to notice the seagull's wet alone scared, 
they're away from the lunch. Lucky it is, lucky it is, said Mr. Green when Sam laid me out, meow, agreed Hamish quickly. Good job. Stay e evening. evening, Mrs. and Mr. Grinling raked their brains again for a near plan. What shall we do, said Mr. G. G. Mrs. Grindling looked thoughtful. I have it, she explained, just the mi it mixture. mixture for hugging hungry, hungry grey seagulls. seagulls in Indeed, my dear, said Mr. G, what do you have in mind? Wait, wait and see, said Mrs. G, just wait and see. Mustard sandwiches, chuckled Mr. Grimley, a truly superb plan. My dear, truly suburb. On Thursday morning, Mr. Grinling caref Mrs. Grinling carefully packed the mustard sandwiches and sent them off down the wire to the expectant seagulls. Ugh! Yuck! Ugh! On Friday, Mrs. Grinling repeated the mustard mixture. All right boys, let's go and have lunch elsewhere. It's the same as yesterday to lunch, Fred. So on Saturday, up in the little white cottage on the cliffs, uh, jubilant Mrs. Grinling put away the mustard pot before she prepared the scrumptious lunch for Mr. Grinling. Oh, he waited for his bunk down in the lighthouse on the rocks. Mr. Grinling sang snatches of old sea shanties as he su surveyed the coastline through his telescope. This is what he saw. We'll fly back here for lunch again tomorrow, boys. No mustard in this lot, Tom. This is a delicious chocolate eclair, Fred. Well, such a light meal, Mr. Grinling, as he sat down enjoying a leisurely lunch in the warm sunshine. Illustrated by Room 23.